Hello people, as I've promised, uh, I bring some more uh, recent uh, videos and pictures about evidence of the mud flood and the re recent catastrophe in 19th century. So we start with London, and this is, uh, I don't know quite the address, but uh, for sure it's somewhere in London. So, uh, people just, you know, walking near those houses every day and uh, if you're in London, you should uh, check out uh, some evidence and send me some pictures for my review and please uh, send me an address so we can mark that building. So this is the clear evidence as I've, as I've showed you in my previous videos about Moscow. We've seen a couple of those uh, constructions with these excavation marks which uh, totally represent that they've been ex excavated and even though uh, the other area around is not excavated. So just Im imagine the amount of mud that was brought here uh, by some catastrophe or whatever and so you can see that architecture is clearly is, we have this uh, type of mask everywhere in Moscow I should picture some for you in the closer view so pretty much uh, all these uh, devices this this thing is like a device for uh, some of my videos I've showed this this type of thing this looks totally the uh, teleportation device uh, something picture or uh, you know panel it looks like a teleportation device watch my video about ancient teleporting you you will have those pictures so those art arcs and all oh, arches just write me in the comments so I can know how to pronounce it I always forget about it how to say this fact all those masks with people looking uh, still can be uh, edited and re-edited but those by those who actually uh, rebuilt those buildings and for sure they can you know add anything while rebuilding or take off the evidence but this evidence of excavation is surely uh, good enough here so this is technical college just like in Moscow we have uh, excavated the Polytechnical Museum so this is in London okay the next one is gonna be uh, a brief uh, video about let's say the bird uh, secret ritual uh, some type of uh, temple I don't know if you know this guy on YouTube I, I, I bet I've seen him a couple of times and he was probably speaking English and this video is in Russian so uh, probably copyrighted by the dude so um, as you can see the area is all is all buried inside and what we can see is a very low volume between the floor what is not right now a floor and the ceiling so probably it's a lot uh, higher if we excavate this and we will see probably four to five meter um, rooms and stuff like this so pretty much a, a lot of uh, science I bet the wise up would like to uh, watch this video and talk about some devices and stuff like this so if you know him please send him a link maybe he knows this guy maybe he is subscribed to him so these columns also represent for me uh, uh, some type of uh, electricic, ele electricity um, coils 
which we see on transformators uh, in big electrical power plants okay so uh, the next one is gonna be just a couple of pictures uh, for example this one is from Turkey if you are in Turkey and uh, this picture was uh, brought as a, uh, some you know basin for water right now so it's uh, like used for that but it also represents the antique building and uh, probably it's buried because it's covered with the uh, soil on the top and look at the picture as it was found it's totally buried inside and it probably was buried on the top of it so we can see that people you know looking at those ruins and right now it's used for water supplies or something like this i don't know so if you are in turkey please you know let me know about this please something like this so probably some of it is still outside and this is Mahajadaro uh, in India and at least the picture as it was found looks pretty much buried to me somebody will say that this is you know uh, some area where a uh, nuclear blast was but I don't see no um, you know no signs of nuclear except the devastation and uh, people might be caught not in the nuclear strike but in the uh, you know flow of the mud and that's how we see this you know picture right now so they were just caught in the mud and we're dying in there probably for that Okay, and this is from Greece, uh, also a picture showing just like this, it was found by French archaeologists in Greece, and pretty much for me it looks like also being very excavated and uh, buried in this dirt and mud. And this is Russia, one of the houses, fancy houses made of red bricks and this is the way it was found and as you can see we have also windows below the ground level and the door here something that is looking like a door so at, at least we see some different ornaments here or design so it's not like here on top although it looks pretty much the same but it's not so probably this is an older building which was buried and on top of it as we see in Moscow on Arbat we see plenty of buildings built on the lower something which is now like right now rebuilt and uh, don't uh, you know clearly represent us the evidence but still we see that something's wrong that the windows don't look this way if this is the basement so but during reconstruction they totally erase erase all this you know evidence with new uh, fancy uh, panels and stones and stuff like this but this is the old one so probably they didn't get it yet okay and this is in um, in Egypt and also looks buried with the mud and they say they found some you know some ancient thing of the pharaohs of Ramses something like this but how could it be a found if not excavated it was excavated and this is what I say everything you find gets to be excavated so it was covered by something and this is totally untrue to 
just you know say that it it's all a cultural layer we don't see any cultural layer here we see only the same thing this is mud clay dirt and stuff like this nothing else nothing else just like in moscow on the street level we see what we see and this is the way what we see in egypt or any other place except maybe the color of the soil or the mud sometimes it is more gray sometimes it's more you know yellow and um, brown sometimes it's more light sometimes it's more dark so it just you know depends on the area and maybe the uh, solution or compound which was mud representing okay and this is in Dagestan in Russia Russia has plenty of Muslim areas but before that somewhere in Dagestan we see uh, some evidence of a buried construction and they have you know descended there to check it out so this is how it looks on top and this is the people uh, going to the entrance still as you can see it's inside the fortress but still it's buried inside the fortress but look at this is a cross type of you know water reservoir or whatever you call it but it's sometimes it holds the water inside but for me it's just another buried building you know if you build something like a well you you make it a round well so probably this was no use of making this cross type of thing inside so many uh, hard job to do that so uh, probably it would be easy to do a round one as you as you see everywhere uh, where you find the well so this is just my thinking it's just a theory uh, of course uh, I think just like Kremlin this fortress was was uh, buried in the mud inside the wall area and inside the Kremlin we see many underground facilities which are buried in the mud and we even see the windows I'm gonna walk there and show you that thing uh, probably it's not yet covered by the officials but still it was available for uh, filming so probably I'll show it in a couple of weeks uh, when I have more time to visit the Kremlin because we have you know FIFA World Cup here in Russia so everything is really strict uh, inside the officials area okay so this is my point of view just like Kremlin this was buried just like in Turkey probably that uh, well was buried and this is <clears throat> the same thing for me okay so thanks a lot for watching guys I hope you liked this video and don't forget to comment your opinion is very important to me and 90% of uh, the questions I, is, are always being answered by me so um, thanks a lot for watching and see you later bye